Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. I am making the video that I wish was around when I first started using this brand. So I'm super excited about it. Today we're talking all about Buff City Soap. And I did a haul and we're gonna get into all of the products. Maybe not every single one, but I bought a ton of products and we're gonna talk about them. What I love about Buff City Soap is that their products have so much range. There's so many different ways that you can use them. So we're going to talk about soaps, laundry soap, lotion, shower oils, all the things. So definitely stay tuned if that's your kind of thing. Let's go. So first thing about Buff City Soap is that uh, I don't know the exact number of locations that they have, but they have quite a few locations like in the Midwest, down to Texas, going all the way to the East Coast. And so they're not in every single state, but they are growing, they are expanding their product range or line rather. And so they're in so many different states. Uh, and I do know for a fact that they, are, that they are expanding their product line because I am on a panel and a tester for some of the new product launches that they think about um, offering and putting out. But today I'm gonna get into my honest opinions on the products. I love some of them. There's some that I don't like and don't use at all, so we're gonna talk about it. Buff City Soap is a, a brand that has actually started in Bartlett, Tennessee. So that is part of the Memphis area. I do live in the Memphis area. I'm a real estate agent here in this area. And quick segue, I also have a real estate channel. It's linked below. It's called Living in Memphis, Tennessee. If you know anybody or you yourself are ever thinking about moving to the Memphis area, check that out. But anyway, uh, they have started in Bartlett, Tennessee, which is a suburb here in Memphis. And so then they just really kind of spread out. I was so surprised to see that they were even in Texas. But Buff City Soap, uh, they are plant-based product, no harsh chemicals, made up of essential oils. So that's the reason why I really like them as a brand. But I will say what drew me more to this brand and using these products is my local store. So I'm sorry, what they actually call them is local makeries because they make everything in the store. So everything that you see in the stores is not, for the most part, is not shipped to them. They make everything right there in the store. So everything is just so fresh. What I love about this brand, like I said, is more so just the people the girls at my store my local store are absolutely amazing i've been using this brand for about a couple years before that i used like bath and body works you know exclusively the girls at the store are just amazing they answer questions they tell you about different ways and different hacks on how to use their products and some of that i'm going to get into today my daughter has like pretty much grown up in the store she's about two and a half and so every time she comes in they'll give her like little kid soaps and she will she can paint like a little bath bomb and just all kinds of things and so my my daughter loves the store they know my husband and so you can just tell how much i shop there but i love this store and especially my local store so um if you guys are watching mwah, appreciate you so so much so anyways let's go ahead and get into these products so the first one i just want to go ahead and start with is just their soap uh this one is sure things so this one actually came out in i think it was like last year i can't remember but it was so popular that it basically just became part of their collection so if you see on the back here it'll show you like all the ingredients here so quite a few oils so olive oil coconut oil what i really like about them is that you feel clean but they're nourishing also and so I appreciate that. I like really strong scents. And so some of them have a really subtle scent and some are pretty strong. So it just kind of depends on the scent that you get. But in their stores, they have best sellers, like standard scents that they have. And then they also make seasonal ones. So this was initially, this one right here was initially like a seasonal one for spring. And then it just became so popular that they just kept it. Uh, this one I have is Fruity Loopy. They also have like a kids line. It really does smell just like Fruit Loops. It's wild. But they also have like a men's line and their men's soaps are just incredible. 
Uh, I had just picked up a key lime soap that just came out and I have many, many others. They do have a, they have like a shea butter soap that maybe costs like a couple dollars extra. I personally am just not a fan of that. When I tried it once, it's supposed to be more moisturizing. I wasn't a fan. And honestly, the scent is not as strong on those. So not a fan of those. One of the things that I love about Buff City is the fact that you can customize. You can go in and customize so much. And so I'm gonna show you a couple things here. So staying on the topic of soaps, I, like I said, I'm a real estate agent uh, in Memphis. And so uh, one of the things that I did a couple years ago, I created soaps for when I go to closings with my clients as part of like a like a gift basket. So this one is actually called Closing Day. And so you see how cute and celebratory it is. It looks like a little cupcake. And so this is spearmint and marshmallow. So when you go to like customize your soaps, you know, or whatever you're wanting to do, they'll like sit with you, kind of give you some options, some different oils, and you can kind of mix them and match them. And so you totally can come up with everything. You can come up with the colors, which is what I did here. And you can come up with the scents, you can mix and match them. And then they'll put the labels on for you and we'll write the names in. And so I have a batch of these. And so when I get ready for a closing, I take a couple of these with me and good to go. Um, and this is the other one I created. This is called Keys Please. Oh, it's missing the S. It's called Keys Please. This one is amazing. It's like pink sugar and sandalwood. I can't remember, but anyway, I also put this in a little gift box as well. So I just wanted to kind of show you how you can customize. And speaking of customize, here's another product that I customized. So this is their laundry soap. My honest thoughts about this. I use their laundry soap only for the scent. So they did come out with a new laundry soap that has like boosters in it. I guess it's supposed to clean better. You know, I, I don't know, but I still would just probably use regular laundry detergent and then just use this to scent. So this one is fresh cotton. This is actually my favorite in laundry soap. But what I love about it is that I actually can just kind of go in and customize. I always want to just try something new. So this one's actually like a mixture of like watercress pear. Just nice, fresh, clean. And so I got that in a laundry soap. I'm gonna link just Buff City down below, link their website. That way you can hop on and just kind of check out their products. But when I had first started using their stuff, I really wanted a video like the one I'm making now that goes into just like these products and really you know kind of goes through all of them because when you first start using a line you get super super excited and you want to just see what all they have and what all you can do and so anyway I've heard some people what they do with the laundry soap is that they will like sprinkle it sprinkle it on their carpet or rug and vacuum and you know that kind of helps you know give a nice scent to that area so people use it in different ways also, but I just use it for like my blankets and towels and to make them smell good, especially when I have guests coming. Next, we have the dryer balls. So these come like in a pack of three and you basically can get them scented and whatever you want. So when you go in the store, they will have some that are already scented with like their like standard scents, but when when you're done or when the scent kind of runs out you can take this you can take your dryer balls and you can get them like rescented i don't know what this i don't even know what i had on this one but anyway you can take them and get them rescented um another hack to use these are having them having the store scent them for you and then putting them in your car just kind of like as air freshener so I've done that before I don't think they last as long that way but just like to quickly freshen up your car that's kind of nice but you just dryer balls you just throw these in the dryer with your clothes and you know then that's it uh you're good you're good to go so anyways that's kind of the purpose of them um is it a holy grail product for me no I honestly like I said um, I really love to use these both of these when I have guests coming over or if I'm like washing my sheets and so that's really for me oops, that's really for me more of the purpose of these 
Okay, so next we have the shave bar. Um, I definitely got this just for this video. I did get this a long time ago. I've tried it. Basically, it's supposed to take the place of like shaving cream. Uh, we have our ingredients here. This is what the directions say. Apply the rich lather until it covers the areas you want to shave, shave, and then rinse. Okay, so it has a ton of different oils in here, similar to what's uh, what the soap is. I remember not feeling like super impressed with these you know i bought it for the video and i said okay let me just give it a try again and just kind of see how i like it so but i just kind of wanted to show you one of their other different products and this one is in their shade not shade sorry <laughs> i do make up videos too um this one's in their scent ferocious beast which is part of the men's line and this scent is amazing so um anyway but th th here's that they have a shave bar Okay, so next, they also have hand soaps, and you kind of have to shake them up, uh, but they have hand soaps, and so this one's in the scent Good Morning Sunshine. I really like their soaps. They're like super moisturizing. Packaging, uh, not my favorite, but I do love the product. I, I do get most of my soaps from Bath & Body Works just because I love the packaging, but these are great. This is one. This one is in the scent Good Morning Sunshine, which is an amazing scent from them. These work very, very well. It's foaming and it lasts quite a bit um, also. So these are great. Check these out too. Okay, so this is their soap whip. This is basically supposed to be like soap, but just kind of in a different um, format. And so this one's in the scent Island Nectar. Um, which is a great one. This is one of their standard scents. It's like a summer one. Oh, I hadn't opened it yet, but I've used this product before. So I love this. So speaking of shaving, I actually use this as shaving cream. Um, and so I like this over the shave bar to shave, but this is amazing. It's so smooth and soft and makes your skin so soft right after you use it but this works amazing as a shave cream i highly suggest that you would try this over the shave bar but you can try both of them so anyways this one's great as a shave cream as far as the soap i used it like that before i just felt like it did better as a shave cream more than actual soap i felt like i was using too much using it as a um using it to cleanse Okay, so this is actually their clay cleansing bar for the face. I love this. This is amazing. And so they have this one. They also have a charcoal one. The charcoal one is in my shower right now. But this, you guys, is so, so good. So I use this after my CrossFit workouts and I'm like super sweaty, especially in the summertime. This is when this product shines. This one and the charcoal uh, cleanser for the face. I absolutely love it. It clean, it cleanses your skin. It just kind of gets all the dirt and grime off and it's just so perfect. And so this is definitely one to check out. Just like a little bar and I love this so, so much. Okay, I'm gonna talk about these two in the same. Uh, this is the bath balm and we also have the bath truffle, okay? So the bath balm is, uh, has a lot of oils in it. I will tell you, I am not a fan of this product at all. I've tried it a couple times. It smells great. It's nice. It's big enough to where you can break it up and kind of get like three or four uses out of it. But it just makes the bathtub so, so oily. And I, it just makes it so hard to clean. And I have a toddler. I don't, you know, I, I just don't have time to unnecessarily clean. So, Anyways, I, I, I bought it just to talk about it in this video, but I'm probably just going to gift it. I think for a gift, these are great, you know, if somebody just really likes that. But personally, it just makes the bathtub oily. I will say the same with the bath truffles. So with the bath truffles, it's pretty much the same situation, but these are just going to be more moisturizing. And so if you have really dry skin, the bath truffles are going to be where it's at. But again... It leaves that residue. It makes the, um, the the bathtub just a little oily. And so not a fan of these, honestly, for that reason. Okay, my absolute favorite, favorite product from Buff City Soap is their shower oils. 
I love this so, so much. Like this right here is the standout product. It has a ton of oils in it. How it initially was suggested for you to use was kind of like, like you're washing your body with it, but it just didn't make sense because it's, it's like a spray on oil and you can customize these and get them in different scents. You can make your own, create your own, but whatever soap you're getting, like they'll have like a complimentary like lotion or complimentary products, like the shower oil uh, next to it. But like where this shines is the formula. So after you wash your body, you're still wet, your skin is still damp. Before you dry off with a towel, you're just gonna spray this like all, all over okay and then what i do i just you know rub it in like lightly in my skin get a towel and just kind of pat dry or i even like rub it in i mean there's no specific like way to do it but let me tell you the magic of this it is immediately moisturizing to where you do not have to put on lotion and the way that it like sets into your skin and dries down is second to none it dries down to where it is not crazy, super like nasty, oily, even in the summertime. It like sinks into your skin, but it still gives you that level of moisture to where your skin is hydrated, but you don't feel overly hydrated, if that makes sense, and greasy and oily because there are oils in here. So you guys, I highly recommend this. If you're gonna try any product, you definitely, I'd say the soap, of course, and then definitely try this. This is like a game changer. My absolute favorite, favorite product from Buff City Soap. Love it so much. This next product is their body butter. This right here is so great. If you are needing more like moisture on your skin, if you're, if you're like super, super dry, like this is gonna be the product for you. You get so much in here, like this is amazing. It's so thick, it's so creamy, especially during the winter time, like on your feet, like you just slather some of this on and put some socks on and you are good to go but it's very uh, moisturizing. And this is the one where like, it is oily when it sinks in. This is one where, like I said, you definitely wanna just kind of slather this on, sleep with some socks on, really get that moisture going because this is such a good and moisturizing product. If you know anybody that has like super dry skin, like this is just where it's at. And so I love this product for that. I do not use this in the summer. It is way too moisturizing for me. You can get it in, you know, different scents. Like I said, I mean, you know, I really want to stress that point and customize them and get them in different scents. And so anyway, see now my hands feel like super oily and it's like summertime. So I do not use that in the summer, but for the winter time, it is amazing. And the other thing too, they actually started coming out with some minis. And so this is like their mini body butter. It's just perfect. It's the perfect size, perfect to travel with. I think the big size is gonna last you for forever. And so they pack it like right to the top here. So it's just like super perfect. But um, like I said, they also have minis as well. So they have minis in um, like laundry soaps. They also have minis, I'm just going off of memory right here. They also have minis, like I said, in the body butter, in the shower oil as well. They have some minis so you can kind of try out some different scents. So those are perfect. I love those a lot because a little does go a long way and I think it's because of those oils in there. And so, you know what, just start with some minis if you wanna check out and try some different products. So here is their lotion bar. Uh, I Gosh, I've had this for forever. It's like almost gone. So there's this. I'm not a fan of this format. I'm trying to even remember if they even have these in the stores anymore. I don't know, but I'm not a fan of this format. I think it's just really thick, like when I've tried like to use it before. Okay, so there's this as well, if you kind of just want to try a different format. But um, yeah, so had this. So I just kind of want to show you the range and like different kinds of products that they have. I love that they came out with lip balms. These are so great, so simple to just kind of throw in your purse. And my favorite about this is the ingredients. So 
We have organic sunflower oil, beeswax, coconut oil, organic essential oil of peppermint because this one's called Mellow Mint. That's what I love about these is that they're so, so clean. They smell great and they're just simple. It's just a lip balm, but super clean. So definitely love these. Okay, so next is the Shower Fizzy. Um, I actually picked this up just for this video and here's the reason why I just want wanted to share with you I am not a fan of these shower fizzies I've tried it before now I'm going to try it the way that they told me to try it this next time and that's what I love about it it's like I can go in and like I can pick this up and you know use it and I can go in and be like hey I didn't like it like this is what happened and they'll be like okay try it this way do this and so anyway that's what I love about, that's what I just love about Buff City in general, but uh, basically you break it off, you put it in your shower, and it is supposed to, you know, give you this nice experience with the scent, but to me I just feel like it's so fleeting for like I think the $7 that it is. So I don't know, I'm really not a fan of this, but I think this is kind of a fun one to gift, to give someone variety, but I think you should at least check it out once. Okay, and so the next product we're going to talk about is the Scent Boosters from uh, Buff City. So these are actually for your laundry. This is a fairly new product that came out. And so basically it's just supposed to add a little bit of scent uh, in addition to the laundry soap. So what you're supposed to do is use the laundry soap and then you would use this. It says that the recommended use is uh, to pour two capfuls in. Um, you know, I'm not really too sure about this product. I mean, I, I think it's great in that it, you know, adds a little bit more scent, but I think that the laundry soap, depending on the scent that you get, actually does that as well. So, um, but I did get this and I do like it just to kind of throw in a little bit of scent into the laundry, but that's what this is specifically for. And this is in their classic scent, the one that I got, which is Narcissist. So. You guys, that is like their best selling scent. It's almost like a, um, I didn't open this yet. Actually, this is my second bottle of this. It's almost like a musk kind of scent. I don't even know how to describe it, but I used to not like the scent Narcissist and it's their best selling scent that they have in so many things like soap, lotions, all of it. And I, now love this so much. I love the scent of Narcissus so much. It's so good. Uh, so definitely if you go in any of the stores and you ask what's their like number one selling scent, their best seller, it's going to be Narcissus. So you definitely got to try that out. So, okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope that that helped you with uh, the products. Definitely check out Buff City Soap. Um, I'm going to link their information below so that you can check them out online, read all about their products. But I absolutely love this store. I love this brand and I love what they're doing. And they they are continually thinking about many, many products to push out. So stay tuned uh, to the brands and just all that they have to offer. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.